it's Leia from HighArtCrystaling.com and thank you for watching. I am here to do a crystal book review on this gem right here. It's called The Crystal Zodiac by Judy Hall. And if you're not familiar with Judy Hall, then you are probably aware or familiar of her work. Even if you don't think that you are, she wrote the very famous Crystal Bible Books series. And I... I've never gone to a gem show, gem mineral show, anything with crystals where somebody hasn't doesn't have that book with them or one of those books, the crystal bible books to refer to or reference to. So they're very very famous and she wrote so many books on crystal healing and when I first saw this book and it was at um, one of my favorite crystal shops it's a local one that I go to for my crystals and and I just was like okay you know crystals and zodiac I know that they are very important to work together and if you're new to crystal healing you need to, you need to get this book you really do this is so important and I'll tell you why um, basically as I was continuing my story, um, I saw it and I was like, I already knew that crystals and the zodiac are hand in hand. They are so important to each other. And, and this comes from my years of doing crystal healing from, from people that I've, I've known and, and I've, and I've books that I've read. I don't know a lot about astrology. I just know more than nothing, <laughs> I should say. And um, this this book is so important because it's often overlooked when it comes to crystal healing. And I see a lot of crystal healing like courses or crystal healing in which they do not mention the zodiac in their in their classes. And if you are one of those people that that took a class and it didn't have the zodiac in it, then I definitely definitely highly suggest that you get this book um and it is first of all it is so thorough that's the reason why i like this book not only does it have your sun sign in here it has your moon sign and your ascendant and these are three three very very important signs to your astrology chart probably three most important signs to who you are and you who your personality is because I I encounter a lot of people who say well sun sign that's I read about sun signs and I read my sun sign and it doesn't match up to me at all and if you've heard that or if you're one of those people that have said that then your moon sign and your ascendant sign is what you really need to look at and because and she even breaks it down on what what is a moon sign? Um, moon sign basically is is the is the sign that people get to know. It's who you are when when people get to know you better. Like it's it's basically what's inside and part of the personality. Maybe your shadow side and your person part of you that people like I said people don't get to know until they get to know you better. Um, the sun sign is basically just kind of like an overall personality, but your ascendant sign is the sign where people see, the sign that people see when they first meet you. And and uh, Judy Hall in this book calls the ascendant sign your mask sign. I don't feel like mask in a bad way. It's not what, the mask that you put on. It's just the thing that people see, like the the front runner. Um, I had tagged my my signs in here. I am a Sun Cancer, and what I really liked about um, how she structured this book was that she put the Cancer and the birthstone. So the first first Sun sign. I mean, your first in your Sun sign. She talks about what eat like little categories that are um, important to that sign. Um, she says the pers the birthstone in you and it goes over a couple of paragraphs and talks about what for me what cancer and my birthstone mean. Um, then it goes crystals in your potential, crystals in your challenges, and crystals in your emotions. And so she has oh crystals in your way of thinking, crystals in your soul pathway, 
can and cancer crystal healing so it would be for me obviously my sun sign and cancer birthday ritual just like a meditation or something that you could do um, to improve your life with crystal healing on your actual birthday and I thought that was really I read it and I was it's so accurate like I can't even tell you how accurate it is and let's see and I'll go on to the Capricorn because that's I mean the ascendant sign because that's what's next here and talks about the ascendant also um very quickly if you don't know what your your ascendant sign you only know what your moon your sun sign is you don't know what your ascendant sign is you don't know what your moon sign is then I highly suggest that you go to cafeastrology.com and I will provide a link down below for you and it's super easy and it's free and you just punch in all your dates like the date day you were born the time you were born the place you were born and that's it you get your whole chart for free and I um, know all the all this those, that information if you don't know the time that you were born or the place you were born then you can still know your moon sign but you won't be incredibly accurate in knowing what your ascendant sign is so my ascendant is Capricorn and it talk, in a Capricorn it talks about meeting the world so basically what what the people what people see you and as confidence tricks and she calls it fairy godmother blessings the Capricorn mask again mask meaning um, not meaning a bad thing then um, the Capricorn ascendant meditation which is really nice too um, let's see and now let's go on to the moon signs and I'm a moon in Aries and talks about the moon crystal positive Aries moon qualities for me explore your hidden needs overcome emotional blocks nurture yourself develop your intuition your aries moon past lives even um cooperation ritual um so and each of these they they all have um different in the moon sign they all have like different um like for instance, the moon in Taurus has instead of cooperation ritual, it's a letting go ritual. So, but do, but basically the same topics for each sign, and then maybe like one concept or one topic that's custom to that sign and what that sign is usually used to. Um, I also would have to say that if you are interested in knowing things that you need to work on then as a as like as your sun sun sign and your moon sign and your astrology goes you just want to know more things about yourself in general then i highly suggest the crystal zodiac um if you want to know more about astrology then i highly suggest the book called the only astrology book that you will ever need and I will provide another link down below for that book but that's the book that I first started on and it really seriously it opened a whole new world to astrology very very in-depth much more in-depth than what you'll see here because this is about crystals too but I really really enjoyed that book and I really enjoyed this book too and like I said it like crystal healing and astrology is so often overlooked but there are things like there are crystals that like I said, that I would recommend to an Aries or Pisces that I would never recommend to another sign. And just because it all has to do with their chart and if they're, if that's an air sign, if that's an ascent, if that's a water sign, or earth sign, um, or fire sign, I'm a, I have more fire in my chart. This is me personally. Um, I have a lot of fire in my chart, even though my sun sign is water I'm so emotional my I I have a hard time dealing with fire stones um, if I work with too many of them uh, like simultaneously it will it will affect my mood to be more of like one-sided so um, that's also why I suggest that you read up on this book if you're new to crystal healing because it will it will help you to understand yourself better and your clients better and that's super important and 
I think that's all that I have to say about this book, but um, I'm giving this book a glowing review and I definitely recommend it. I'm also planning on doing a, like um, books or five books that you should have as a crystal healer or five books for beginners. And I'm saying beginners because beginners, like this will teach you basically how to do crystal healing, not this is a book that will teach you what, what this crystal does or what this crystal does or what that crystal does. And that's really important to me because I feel like everybody should be able to find out how to do crystal healing themselves and, and be more empowered in doing crystal healing instead of just reading a book saying, this is what you should do, this is what you should put here, this is what you put here. That type of crystal healing um, doesn't resonate with me very much because crystal healing, because crystal healing isn't one size fits all. It's, it's so in depth and that's why I really, like I said, that's why I really love this book so much because it helps you to custom crystal healing to every, to different people, different people in different areas of how they're different, like the, the zodiac sign. So without further ado, I'm just going to end this video and say thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.